Brian? Oh, hey, Bill. How's your first day on the job? Oh, you know, it's okay. I just got stuck with the monthly finance report, so I'm on my way to Carpal Tunnel. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you're really doing, witch hunter. What? How's it going, everybody? My name is Malay here to help you procrastinate through your day. And today we're playing some Yuppie Psycho. It is a new indie game that came out, psychological horror game that takes place in the 90s. We are Brian Pasternak, a young dude who just got hired by a giant corporation firm for a first time job. So that's quite exciting for him, but things aren't what they seem. But without giving too much away, let's just jump into it, shall we? Let's do this! Yeah. Oh, just music is just so good. Just music is just so good. This place is so full of people. And my tie is just too tight. I've never worn one before. Train sounds. Oh, they were right, the big city really will eat me alive. And this letter... Job offer. What if everything was a joke? A scam? My voice acting abilities. But... Maybe it's real. Grips tight. If this letter is real... Alarm goes off. Her door opens. This would be my first job. Aha! Get old Brian. Get on ya, Brian. Congrats on your first job. We just, let's give a hand for Brian's first job. Mr. Pasternak, good job. Well, I finally arrived. I hope I'm not at the wrong place. I should walk around. I'm a bit nervous, maybe if I talk to someone. Mr. Lady over here. Hello, how are you? Hi, excuse me. The administration of an audit branches for financial functional tasks is directly proportional to the product received from its contractual relationship to the net profit. And my brain is on fire and it hurts a lot. Who are you, Mr. Blonde? Smoking a cigarette indoors? I guess it is the 90s. Hello, I'm Brian. Oh, nice to meet you, Brian. If you don't mind, would you call me by my last name? Chapman? You know how big companies are with their formalities. Oh, excuse me. You should call me Pasternak then. Oh, nice to meet you, Pasternak. Oh, Chapman seems like a very nice fellow. Oh, looking at you, I think I can assume it's all your first day and at work. Just stay calm. It's normal to be a bit nervous. Uh, yes, I'm here because I got, I got a letter. So, sorry to trouble you, but I haven't been able to stop staring at your outfit since you entered. What are you wearing? Uh, it's a suit. No, I mean, what designer? Like, who made it for you? Oh, uh, and I have no idea. I apologize for my bad manners. But that seems very peculiar to me. Do you not remember where you bought it? Hmm, I think my mother got it from a supermarket. Uh, uh, su supermarket? Excuse me, but what class are you? I'm class G. And you? Get away from me, vermin! And apparently we're German now. How dare you talk to me, Class G scum? But how, how, how? Get out, go! I'm, I'm sorry for- Shut up! What brings a, a, a piece of shite like you to a company like this? Do you know where you are? Do you? Uh, this is the original Syncorp headquarters, the mythical, nay, legendary building that gave birth to one of the greatest companies in the world. Uh, uh, yes. I haven't finished yet. Pen, pen thing. This company only hires the smartest, most qualified people in international level. Students from the most prestigious universities are rejected by the handful for not making the grade. Candidates of proven experience fight for a... No. Ch <clears throat> calm down, Chapman. Calm down. Ch I, can't, I can't keep talking to you. Get out of here. That fellow was so nice to me. I love big corporate companies. <laughs> wow. That guy was something else. I kind of like him. I kind of like him, not gonna lie, I kind of like him. Hello, my name's Brian. Wow, you've, you're very casual. My surname is Hicks, but you can call me Kate. Oh, that's right. Sorry, I'm not sure, I'm not I'm not used to this. Mine is Pasternak. No, 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 call me Kate. It's more, 
natural. Are you from the suburbs? Yes, yeah, some G-class. Hope you don't mind talking to me. <laughs> I guess you met that Milan guy. There's always a lot of very stuck up people working downtown. Oh, does that mean you're not from the capital? I was born in Class C, but my father got a job here. My family was able to stand through ranks. Lucky. So are you here because you got a job offer also? Yeah, I finished college and passed all six entrance exams. I'm, su I'm super excited. I'm sure you know how hard it is to get a job here. There are thousands of candidates. I work in... Disaggregate. What the hell? Disaggregate it. Analytics, by the way, what's your specialization? Uh, specialization? Let me guess. Managing redundancy? Uh, perhaps combined programs. Oh, uh, well. Wait, wait. Network protocol system. Management of vertical bases. Structural data calculus? No, I I've only finished my basic studies. Oh. Oof. What am I even doing here? Is it possible for Class G to get a job at a company like this? That letter must have been someone's idea of a joke. Letter? Take a look. Brian Pasternak, you have been selected for a role within Cinder Corp's staff. This job upgrades your status to Class A category permanently. It was delivered to my house a week ago. I thought... Uh, I don't know. Now that I'm here, it's clear this was a mistake. I'm an idiot. What do you mean a mistake? You've directly secured a position at Syncorp. To me, that sounds like an opportunity of a lifetime. I like Kate. Kate? You're my boo. Boo boo. Kachu. Cheer up, man. But I don't have the proper education or. This is an important company. Surely they do a thorough scan of every student in the country. Maybe they saw great potential in you. You have great potential, by the way. Mr. Chapman, please enter the elevator. <laughs> they always call the most important people first. Understand? Of course you don't. <sighs> I can see from your face how ignorant you are. You see that little light? On the elevator that marks the floors? Ah, you go. The more appreciated you are. The ninth floor, the manager directors, that's my destiny. Goodbye forever, beggars. Chapman, we will meet again, and I will throat punch you. <laughs> throat punch for like. It stopped on the second floor. It wasn't too important, I guess. <laughs> Miss Hicks, please enter the elevator. Uh, 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 bag of nerves. I'm a bag of nerves. Good luck, Kate. Thank you, Brian. Kate, it's so nice to me. <laughs> I hope we meet again so I can invite you out for a coffee. <gasps> Dude, she takes us! So do I. Oh, Kate, you're my boo-boo. Boo-boo, could you? Up to the fourth floor. She must have studied hard to get so high. Hmm, I guess I'll have to wait here until they call me. Unless that letter really was a joke. That was, that was great meeting two people. One was a dick, the other, she was pretty nice. Maybe I should show that letter to the camera. Inventory, I. All right, let's show our little letter to the camera here. Hello, security camera, gentlemen, or or lady. <laughs> Triple dots. I received this letter with my name. See, it says you've given me a job. Is this some sort of prank or hello? Triple dots again. <sighs> what an idiot. Looks like I came all this way for nothing. All right, I guess we have no job. We should leave. We, okay, bye. Well, <laughs> looks like I won't be having my first job in the capital after all. And it's a long journey back home. Oh. Eerie music. That's some eerie music for an elevator. Do we enter? Okay, I'm entering. Let's do this. Ah! Oh, that note gives me the shivers. <laughs> what is this music? Second floor. Oh, third floor. Oh, we're kind of important. Fourth floor, Kate, we're coming. Fifth floor? Sixth floor? Seventh floor? We are the most important being ever. What was that? Eighth floor? Ninth floor? Tenth floor? Ken, we are the most important person ever in anything. The top floor? This has to be a mistake, right? We are, we're awesome. We have so much... I would like to go back down, please. <laughs> please, I don't want to be up here. Let's just follow the trail of blood. No, oh my god. Modern art, expensive vases, but covered in... I want to say red paint. There's there's paint everywhere. Yeah, it's paint. It's red paint. That's a lot. <laughs> Kill the witch. It looks like a contract. I, Brian Pasternak, declare that I accept a job offered by Sin... Corp, Sintra Corp, as described in the attached annexes, at which my salary will consist of 10,000 credits per day, plus bonuses for achievements and maintenance 
and promotion to class A. 10,000 credits a day, th th that's a f fortune. This could be a trick. Let me read those annexes. According to the pre-established norms of the jurisprudential doctrine, if I can, currently enforce the job applicant agrees to provide his professional services in accordance with the classification system of Central Corp by accepting this stipulated payment. The plaintiff accepts all subsidiary clauses with this document indefinitely or until termination of contract this contract can be extended according to labor circumstances or the request of the trade union association the acceptance of this contract entails a total apparel waiver and privileges allowing individuals and directors in favor of being promoted to social status as director of resolution 1138 oh god damn can i make heads or tails of this mm, yep <laughs> i don't know should i sign the contract i could retire after a day let's do it i've come all this way i can't back out now everyone would think i was just a coward i'll sign it and we sign our life life away to the devil a deal with the devil. What just happened? Well, I signed it. Now what? Ninth floor. We are here. Because that douchebag said he's going down here. It's a pamphlet. It says, Exhibition of, of on, in honor of the devil's blood. Introduce yourself as a man of wealth and taste. The devil? Pleased to meet you. Won't you guess my name? Copyrighted. Uh, oh my god. I'm not wandering around in the dark without a light, and I'd rather not wander around here even if I had one. Hey! 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 I want to talk to you. Oh god. Alright. Alright. Well, let's head down. I guess the first floor? I got a slice of bread. <laughs> slice of bread just lying around. Oh yeah. It's very dark. I won't go in there without a light. Damn, dude. We really need a light. This is what this is like our number one task we got to find is a, is a light. Over a thousand cameras are watching out for your safety. Smile. Hello. Hello, box face. Oh! You're not nice. Alright, so there's an evil box man on the th fourth floor. Third floor, sorry. Fourth floor is where we're going. That girl I met in the lobby, Kate, was supposed to have come to work on this floor, but it's so dark. Can't find her without a light. Why is it so dark? <laughs> we're on the fourth floor. We can go five. We're going to five. Or not. Oh. What's this? Looks like a blank page. Wait. It has a watermark. I'll keep it in my briefcase. You got a mysterious sheet of paper. That's nice. I wonder what the paper's for. Finally, I a floor that has things. Uh, lights. <laughs> Hello? Are you the new guy? Yes, hello, my name's Bri, uh, Pasternak. My name's Pasternak. Nice to meet you, Bri, uh, Pasternak. No, no, it's just... Haha, <laughs> it's a joke, man. I'm Hugo, your new workmate. I'm here to show you around. I'm sorry, I'm a little lost. I get you. If you come from the suburbs, the big city can take a lot of out of you. But don't worry, you're in good hands. I'll show you how things work around here. Now, this is the fifth floor. Here, we're mostly perform management tasks. Worth more databases? Well, you know, computer stuff. I got tongue-tied there for a sec. There are a few offices and I and a meeting room. The bathroom's in the back, and this is the uh, reception desk. Though the receptionist isn't here at the moment. Everyone here does their own thing. Look at that guy coming in, for example. Hey there, partner. Let me introduce you to Pastor. See? He didn't even notice us. One guy even comes to work just so he can sleep. <laughs> Come on, follow me. I'll show you our office. E for excellence. Oh man, this just looks depressing. Welcome to your new office. Right now, it's a bit empty since uh, huh, a few of the employees are on sick leave, but... <laughs> what the hell is that? Look who's come out of her lair. This is another of our co-workers, Sosa. Hi, I'm Pasternak. Ah! <laughs> She's a bit shy at first, but when she gets started with one of her stories, there's no stopping her. Well, let's get on with the tour. Oh, this is bigger than I thought it would be. Over here we have the water cooler, an important staple of our office. There's not much science involved, it's just free water. When it's empty, someone will have to come and refill it, which can sometimes take years. Here we have the cornerstone of any office, the coffee maker. We prepare a good amount of coffee every morning. What do you say we use a little to replenish your strength? Our strength. Oh no. There's no coffee left. There's a legend that this office is home to a dark creature who never sleeps. They say she only drinks fresh coffee and never, ever, ever pours more when it's finished. Right, Sosa? <laughs> oh, 
So then, do you dare tempt the beast by making some more coffee? Of course, what do I do? Well, first we need water and coffee powder. You should be able to find some in here, somewhere. You don't have any coffee powder, do you? <coughs> ah, coffee powder, we found it in the garbage. Why? Who's throwing out good coffee? Who's throwing out good coffee? I'm serious, I will throw punch you. Here you go, I'm not sure this will work. It was in the trash. Oh, it'll be fine. Blow it in a little and it'll work perfectly. Okay, now that you've got the magic ingredients, just turn on the coffee maker. Coffee powder and, okay. Yes. Hmm, I can't wait to have a cup of Joe. <sighs> coffee gives you a much stronger energy boost than a plain cup of water. Water is really only good for showering. Well, I think that's all the basics. Do you have any questions? Uh, what exactly is my job? Do you really want to start working already? You've only just arrived. Oh, I just realized I forgot to teach you one of the most important things about working. Here, the photocopier. You'll need both ink and paper to print copies with it. This one's already loaded. You can use this to print important pieces of data like quarterly figures or work documentation, but let's face it, those are lower floor tasks, aren't they? We here on the fifth floor can instead use the wonderful device to do fun things like photocopying our asses. What? <laughs> no, Hugo. Hugo, oh my god. Let's see if my ass portrait came out well. I think I should have done it double-sided. <laughs> Hugo, come on, it's your turn. I don't want to photocopy my ass. No, no, no thanks. Come on, man, you'll understand how funny it is once you've done it. I guess you don't have to do your ass if you're embarrassed. Why not use your face instead? <laughs> but, my face, but you just, I don't want to put my face where your ass was. Oh no, it's out of paper. Oh well, what a pity, another time perhaps. No, no, come on, man, you're the only one I can do these things with. So says a wuss, and I never dares. I can't believe we don't have any paper in our office. Is there some in your briefcase? I picked up a blank sheet off the floor earlier. That might work. Of course, any paper works. The important thing is to put your head inside the machine again. It's the glass. You use a mysterious sheet of paper. Photocopied soul. <laughs> oh, man. He put his ass cheeks on there. Why are we doing this? Ugh, I am gonna get pink eye. Wow, this sure is shiny. What just happened? Which paper? What? Well, well, I see how you know how to take care of yourself, Pastor Nag. That was weird. So then, what's my job exactly? Like I said, if you really want to start working already, you can use the old computer next to you. Someone will relay you your tasks. Oh, is it this computer? Let's see, how does this old thing turn on? Oh, this doesn't work. Looks like there's no power. Well, luckily, there's a power cord here. I suppose I'll try plugging this wire in. Aha! You need an ID card to access this machine. ID card. Hugo, sorry to bother you again, Hugo, but the computer said I need an ID card. Ah, true. Hmm. Normally, they get sent to the boss office. I'll see if yours is already there. Thanks, Hugo. You're, you're a dream. You're a dream, muffin man. Hello? Mr. Pasternak. Yep, it's me. Pleased to meet you. I'm your boss. Hugo told me you don't have your ID card. It seems there's been some kind of administrative error. I apologize. Oh, it's fine. No, no, it's fine. Looks like they sent your ID uh, card to another office. You have to go to Office D, which is on the same floor as yours. Office D? Got it. Thank you. Hugo's in all the employees of the month? I don't know. I don't... That's weird, dude. I don't know if I trust him now. This The sofa's blocking the door. Maybe I could push it out of the way. Yeah. Office D. Here we come. D for diddle. Wow, it's way too dark in here. Hello? There's something written on the floor. It's a trap! This, this isn't funny! Turn on the light! Uh oh. Oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh fucking jeez. Ah, I wanna get out of here! Office work sucks! Ow! There we go. I'm coming! Hold up. Who are you? Are you okay? Hello, do you, do you know where the exit is? <laughs> oh my goodness. It's tied to the chair. What happened here? I'm going to try and tying you. I got him. I got him. I'm helping you, sir. I'm helping you. I won't budge. Hey, I'm not sure I can help you just yet, but but, but perhaps between the two of us, we can find a way out of here. Let's go, sir. <laughs> Where are we going? I can't push the chair over these wires. Damn it. This cardboard box seems pretty sturdy. All right. We got a cardboard box. We got a cardboard box. Got a card. Uh-oh. We found an exit. Let's go, sir. Tied to chair. If anyone comes, I'm I'm getting. I will use you as a distraction. All right. It's totally fine. Push this guy, dude. Me. 
Help me. Oh my god. There's nothing interesting. Are you sure there's nothing interesting here? Hello? There's a fucking body on the wall, dude. Something written on the wall. Run. Hold shift. What is that? What is that thing? Ha! Ah! <laughs> I'm sorry, man in chair. Tied to it. I had to leave. Oh my god. Oh my shit, man. What was that? Ooh. Uh, I have to get out of here as soon as possible. Uh, I can't see. I can't see. Oh, cardboard boxes. Cardboard boxes. But of course. But of course, the cardboard boxes. I need to get out of here. Get in the vent. I'm out of here. I didn't get my ID card. <gasps> Damn it. Oh my goodness. What was that? What's going on in this company? Hey. Hey, you. <laughs> Please, we need to call for help. Boss. <laughs> Boss? Boss's doors open. Uh oh. This is look good. Hey, hello. <clears throat> oh, Hugo. What's up? You look like you've seen a ghost. A, mo a monster? There's a monster in the office. A what? I went to Office D and it was, I don't know, a nightmare. Oh, uh, I think I understand. That monster you think you saw is actually a fellow who went a little crazy a few weeks ago and locked himself in the office. No, 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 no. What happened in there isn't normal. There was a guy tied to a chair and dozens of employees hanging from the wall. You've got to tell someone. <laughs> well, man, I don't think there's anything like that's going on here. I swear, that's honor. There were coffee mar markers and monitors flying through the air. Ha ha ha, don't tease me, Pastor Nag. And besides, why did you go into that office anyways? We blocked it off with a piece of furniture to avoid any problems. The boss called me and told me I'd find my ID card in there. Your, your ID card's right here on the table. They're always left here. Oh, but wait. This office is a total mess and what are you doing sitting in the boss's chair? Oh, didn't I tell you? There aren't any bosses at this company. There's not a single one in the entire building. What? I know it sounds a bit weird, but they've gone, they've all gone crazy and left in most cases. Our last boss locked himself up in this office for years until one day he just ran away. Who knows why? Stress, perhaps. There's no bosses. Who called me? Just some joker, I suppose. Stop worrying about it. I, <laughs> it'd be best if you took your ID card and started working as soon as possible. Oh, did I say it worked? Well, don't try to do too much. You wouldn't want to go crazy like that monster. <laughs> I don't know if I trust you, Hugo. Got an ID card. That's a big ID card, man. It's so 90s. Oh, my God. Sintra. Sintranet. Oh, dude, it's subliminal messaging. Don't look at it. Whoa, whoa, what? <laughs> Am I in the Matrix? It's awesome. What is this place? <clears throat> Could it be another trap? Mickey Mouse? Mr. Pasternak. Well, well, well. Female Mickey. Another freak. I need to get out of here. This nightmare. I need to get out of this nightmare. <clears throat> oh, that would hurt. Man, I've stubbed my toe. It hurts so much. We're face down. That's nice. This chick looks creepy as all hell, man. Mr. Pasternak. What? What? What's it? <laughs> Welcome to Centricorp. Uh, are you going to kill me? Remain calm. I will not hurt you. What? What is all this? Please allow me to introduce myself. My name is Centra. I'm in charge of guiding you through your new job. Okay, what's this green world? The second I was in the office. You're connected to Centranet, our corporate interface. Here you can track your tasks, receive messages from your colleagues, and consult me on any topic. Point of interest, you just received your first message. If you wish, you can read it by activating it. Welcome to Centricorp, Mr. Pasternak. I hope your time here will be prosperous, productive, and lasting. You sent this message to me, right? Correct. If you are agreeable, I will proceed to explain the responsibilities our occupation entails. You thoroughly studied the contract you signed earlier. Uh, well, actually, it was so long and there were a lot of unfamiliar words. Uh, I kind of got lost. Excuse me, can you just tell me my responsibilities directly? Of course. The focus of your work at Centricorp is on a single goal. Exterminate the creature called Witch. Exterminate the creature called... Yes, I heard you, but I have to kill a witch. That's a joke, right? You have been hired as a witch hunter. Okay, okay, let me... What's going on in this company? But I don't think I want to hunt anyone. A witch? Seriously? I will now describe the details of your work. No, I don't want to know. There's definitely been some sort of mistake. This icon marks your first task. Locate Hex and Hammer. How do I get out of here? Please, Mr. Pastor, allow me to finish my explanation, and I will show you the way out. Ugh. I just want out of here. I don't want a witch hunt, man. Due to lack of information regarding the witch, your first task will be to locate Hex and Hammer. A witch... 
Lovecraft uh, treatise written in the 15th century that describes how to identify, hunt, and execute these unique creatures. Cool. I mean, we're talking about witches, right? Century Corp has acquired a company of Hexenhammer, but the location of the book is currently unknown. According to our most recent re records, the book should be somewhere within the company's library on the seventh floor. It is recommended that you begin your search there. Okay, are you done? I must also inform you that for retrieving the book, you will provide we will provide you with a bonus of a thousand credits. Oh, hey, Cynthia, look, thank you very much for the offer and all that, but hunting witches isn't my thing. I came here thinking this would be a normal job, but it's getting more and more bizarre by the minute. Maybe it'd be best if you found someone else to take my place. I'm sorry to hear you say that. You are free to leave at any time if you would like to disconnect from the system. Please activate that output icon. Hope you will reconsider your offer. I will be here whenever you need me. Your work here is confidential. You cannot disclose to anyone your status as a witch hunter or its related responsibilities. In the eyes of your partners, your work will consist of consulting on systems and databases. What? In the interest of your own well-being, I hope you will not reveal this secret. See you soon, sir. All right, everybody, I'm gonna end the video there. Yuppie Psycho, really interesting, neat little pixel game. I haven't really played too many of these kind of games, but so far, this story is quite interesting. I like the whole, kind of like the office vibe of like the 90s corporation, and we're brought in as a witch hunter. I can't wait to find out what more of the story entails. Uh, it seems like it's gonna be a wild ride, so I'm quite excited. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that like, comment, and subscribe. I'd love to hear from you what you thought about the video. And as always, I'll see you beautiful people in the next video. Peace out.